hi welcome to another reading vlog so I decided even though it is currently Saturday and Saturday is kind of a weird day to start a reading vlog I decided to go ahead and start it because I recently just finished Crystal Storm uh, the fifth Falling Kingdoms book by Morgan Rhodes and I am just yesterday started Immortal Rain, the sixth and final Falling Kingdoms book by Morgan Rhodes. So if you've noticed the theme, I pretty much have just been reading the Falling Kingdoms books. I haven't been reading them particularly quickly either. I was reading this one for the longest time just because I wasn't doing all that much reading, to be honest. I was really in TV watching mode. Oh, I, I am loving this series though. I It's amazing. It's one of my new favorite series. Hopefully this ends well. I am only 56 pages in and oh my god, it's so good. Um, and I'm really hoping that my favorite characters survive. Currently my favorite character is Cleo and Jonas and I'm still holding out hope that Cleonas might happen. Currently based on what's happening I'm kind of doubting that Cleonis is going to happen but I'm not going to say more than that. I am also 46 chapters and 12 hours and 33 minutes into the Reaper at the Gates audiobook and this is from the library so it keeps telling me that there are currently like eight people waiting for it and I have seven days left to finish it. It is a 15 and a half hour audiobook. Uh, so I have about three hours left and I have a week to listen to it. So I think that's actually pretty doable. I listened to it a lot today while I was getting ready to film and everything since I filmed videos for the first time in a really really long time. Yeah, and I listened to it on 1.2 speed, so it's a little bit faster than it will naturally take, but not that much faster. I hear people talk about how they can listen to audiobooks on like two times speed, and I'm like, how do you concentrate when it's that fast? I mean, I usually have to speed it up a tiny bit just because regular speed is usually a little bit too slow and I get kind of bored. Two times speed, like I can't even do one and a half speed because that's still gonna be a little bit too like <laughs> and then I can't tell what's going on, especially in a book like this where there's a lot going on and I kind of need to concentrate a little bit because sometimes stuff happens and I'm like, wait, what? So anyway, that's gonna be it for my update. I am loving everything I'm reading, which is super fun. And I will update you the next time I have reading progress to show or something interesting to vlog. Watching a new episode of Legacies. Does anyone else love this show? I'm currently on page 90 of Immortal Rain. I'm still really enjoying this book. This like a lot is happening so far it's very exciting not exciting like it's not a bunch of battles or anything but like you know stuff's happening with the different characters and it's all very exciting uh which is to be expected since this is the last book in the series and I just I'm kind of sad that it's the last book because then the series is going to be over which is sad but also I really really want to know what happens so I have to know like do my favorites survive to the end and so far so good but we will see so far my main ship does not seem to be happening the characters that I really would like to get together and I'm kind of okay with that because the author has done a good job kind of changing my mind and being like okay well I guess these other characters are okay together too like they make a cute match as well but I really would kind of like the other couple to be together but this is okay too it's fine and I am currently my cord because it's plugged in yeah I'm currently 14 hours and 16 seconds into this book this book is 15 and a half hours long I do believe so I only have a little over an hour left which is excellent because I only have three days left to listen to it because there's a long line after me. Yeah, I had to wait like two and a half months to get this audiobook from the library. It is very very good. It is an intense audiobook because it has four different narrators and like 
This book is crazy. There's a lot happening. It's Reaper in the Gates by Saba Tahir, if you couldn't read the... I don't know how clear it was on the screen, but it is crazy intense. Like, sometimes it's too intense. Like, I'm listening to it, I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm just brushing my teeth and stuff's happening. I'm like, I don't... And then there are some voices of, like, these monster things that are, like, really, really scary. And so I'm just, like, kind of freaking out. I'm like, this book is almost, the audiobook is almost too intense for me. I almost wish I had was reading the physical book because then I couldn't hear the creepy voices these people were making. They do such an amazing job on this audiobook. So if you don't like audiobooks because normally the narration, like, I'm kind of really picky when it comes to audiobooks. I need the narration to be, like, perfect in order to enjoy it. This is really good narration, so I definitely recommend this audiobook, especially if you are an audiobook person. If you like audiobooks, you will love this. If you don't really like audiobooks, I recommend giving this one a try if you are interested in the series and just haven't had the time to pick it up, because... It is a fantasy series, yes, but it's not hard enough. It's not hard at all to follow through audiobook. The world kind of builds very slowly and expands very slowly throughout the books, so it just focuses on pretty much just one thing at a time through the different characters, and the different characters have different narrators, so it's super easy to keep them straight. That's where I am. I'm thoroughly enjoying both of the very exciting series that I am reading. I also quickly forgot to mention that I do want to read more of Immortal Rain tonight, but I'm, it's almost, it is 10.30 now, and I want to do a little bit of singing practice before it gets too late. So my singing practice went well. I actually found a couple more Disney songs to sing. I found some karaoke for Lion King 2, and so those were super fun. I sang the song that was like, He is Not One of Us, and um, Love Will Find a Way. Which is like, you know, the deception, disgrace, and then the romantic song between Kiara and Kovu. And yeah, because I like to just do sing along to karaoke on YouTube as my singing practice. It's super fun, and I would film some of it, but I'm afraid of copyright, so I don't really know how that would work. And then I read some more of Immortal Rain. I am now on page 124 and it's super good still. It's very good. It's just all the things keep happening. We found out some like stuff about someone's past. Overall very good and you're probably gonna just hear me say that a lot unless something horrible happens which I hope it doesn't but I guess we'll find out together. So earlier today I did a live karaoke party on my singing Instagram, I'll leave that here, and it was so much fun because people actually came and watched and like commented and requested songs and seemed to be enjoying themselves and it was super fun. I did one live, like a similar live show where I, you know, went on Instagram live and I did some songs and... Nobody watched it. I think a couple people watched it after the fact because I did that 24 hour loop thing where you can have it post for 24 hours after the fact, but like no one watched it live or commented or interacted or anything. And I really wanted to try it again because I feel like Instagram live shows are super fun and interesting and I've always just wanted to do them and have people comment. I basically just want people to talk to. And it was super fun, so I'm so happy that people actually interacted with me. So if you have any interest in that whatsoever, I basically just sing karaoke and you can request songs and stuff. It was a little bit nerve-wracking when people were requesting songs that I didn't really, I never practiced before, but I think I did okay. People seemed to be really happy that I did the song they requested, so that was still really fun. But yeah, I wanted to update on my reading. Side note. Yeah, so I finished the audiobook for A Reaper at the Gates, and it was really, really good. It was super intense, like, 
oh my god, stuff was happening. I was wa listening to this one part while I was on the internet. Um, I was uploading my bookshelf tour. Well, that is up now. And wow, I should not have been doing something that takes... I didn't think it took that much brain power to upload and put in my description and everything, but like I kind of missed a part and then I was like, oh, this is a important moment. I need to go back and re-listen to it. Oh my gosh, it was crazy, all the stuff that happened, like, it's just, it was an intense book from start to finish, pretty much, just the whole thing was just, like, crazy intense. I think I talked about how the narration was, like, a lot, and it was, it was very good, so, very, very good book. And I am on page... 165 of Immortal Rain right now. I don't know. I feel like I was on page 90 last time I updated. Updated? <laughs> last time I updated, I feel like I was on page 90. That could be wrong. Oh, something crazy just happened and then I need to find out what happens next. Yeah, that's pretty much this whole book too. The literal title of the series could be something crazy just happened. What's gonna happen next? So it's not really that funny or clever, but but it's certainly truthful. I want to read more of this tonight, but a new episode of Riverdale is on CWTV.com, so I will probably be watching that. And so we'll see where the evening takes us. So it's not looking good for one of my favorite characters, and I really hope they don't die. So I currently have about 90 pages left in this book. It's really good. Obviously, I've been saying that the whole time. It's very good. Uh, it's not quite as action-packed as I was expecting it to be, and there aren't quite as many twists and turns as I was originally expecting. I'm definitely not disappointed in it, but it's just like the other books had like so many twists and turns, you know, leading up to this one, and this one is mostly like just this one particular problem that they're trying to solve, except for something else that's like just happened that I'm kind of like, where are we going to go from here? Where do we go from here? If you know that reference, you're an awesome human being. So what was I saying before getting distracted by my own TV references? Oh yes, it seems like they are trying to build up a romance here that I am not sure that I approve of because, well, it's between one character I really like and another character I don't like so much. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it and I'm really not sure where it's going. But that's all I could really say without spoilers. I finished the book. It was so good. Oh my gosh, that ending was so exciting. And, and I can't really say much without spoilers. But it was so good. The Fallen Kingdoms is definitely one of my new all-time favorite series. I just, I loved it. Characters were so good. And even that last minute romance they tried to push that I mentioned earlier, I ended up being like, oh, oh, it's pretty cute after all. I, I think I can deal with it. it. It's pretty cute. Everyone got paired off nicely at the end, so I was like, oh, why shouldn't these two be happy if they found love in a weird and unexpected place? That is going to be it for this reading vlog because I think it's already pretty long. I love this book so much. I'm obsessed with this series. It's so good. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I hope your reading is going well. Let me know what you're reading in the comments below if you would like. Talking to you in the comments always makes my day. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!